I was at the Global Bike Festival. I had my Bowhead RX prepped and ready to ride. Everything was in place for an epic day out. We're on board the Schattenberg Express in Salbach, Austria, and we're heading up to the top of the Hackelberg Trail for what will become that exact epic day I'd been waiting for. One of those truly great days, in fact. Going up the lift with Stuart. You see, Stuart had come along to our Global Bike Festival as one of our guests. He'd been riding road bikes and hanging out. Today, though, he's helping me. Let me explain. Stuart. And mate, he's helping me out today because it's not easy getting in and out of these lifts. So he's sacrificing himself. Poor bugger. <laughs> and look at that view behind us. This is my first time up this side of the mountain. And we aren't really sure, after looking at the map, what's going to happen next. <laughs> but we'll let you know. We had hoped to meet the rest of the crew at the top of the Hackelberg Trail to begin our attempt of completing the Big Five with plenty of help from the rest of the team. Turns out the entire MTB crew had changed the plan to an attempt of the Big Four on the other side of the valley. They were now ascending the Panorama Trail, which is not where we were. Me and Stuart are alone. <laughs> It's very easy. Yeah, that's easy, that bit. And then it becomes... And then it becomes really switchy there. Yeah. Oh, that looks sick. Should we just take that now? Yeah. And then we can come back to this. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Oh, man, that's so good. Oh, I must do that. Come on, let's do it. Try and find the bit that feels slightly uncomfortable. Yeah. That's where you sort of grow, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. That was so fun. You were kicking up so much dust. Oh no, sorry guys. <laughs> so this is going pretty good. The idea today was to try and do the big five. Everybody in the tyre festival decided they were going to do the big four. But we couldn't do it in the same order because my bike's a bit slow getting on the lift. Stuart's been helping me out. But now we've been joined by the boys Woo! and we're heading down. We're getting gopes and we're getting some runs in. We're going to head down, where is it, to Hinterglem now? So. Hinterglem. And we're going to see what happens. Apparently this trail's sick, so we should have a bit of fun on this one. But we're trying to get as many of the big whatevers as we can. So far we've done, what, half? Quarter. A quarter. That's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> This is not like this trail. Your pace is great, mate. This trail was feeling great, but the route to the bottom was getting pretty challenging. My arms were already starting to tire. The rock hits and the bumps were really sapping my strength. There was lots of excitement to come, but the Hackleberg Trail was about to give me a little reality check. And thank goodness I had the crew with me. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how can I help you invest? I think. Don't so worry. Let's don't. So we don't need to rush, lads. So. No, no. So I think if we just try and lift the bike. Yeah. And yeah. careful on that column oh. now, because yeah. it's going to be trying to lean the whole time. Yeah. 
Stop! 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 <laughs> oh, do you know what my arm? My arms just gave up. Yeah. I just couldn't hold on any longer. That That's all right. No, I could have made it. If we could go down just down to this flat a bit. There we go. Ready, guys? We yeah. good? <laughs> So, you might be feeling a bit dusty under there. There we go. Well, we had a bit of a tumble, didn't we? Yeah. A bit of a, bit of a sketchy one. I just said to the camera, oh, Stuart's like the perfect guide. And then I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna have a little, we're gonna have a Coke Zero, and then we're gonna carry on. This is the best trail I've ridden so far. It's so hard. The pressure on my wrists, I can hardly break, because the, you know, like the pump up, which is, I tell you, a brilliant feeling. I haven't had it in a long, long time. So it feels amazing. And it's thanks to these boys, because they keep picking me up. <laughs> we shall continue. We've nearly done, we've done half of one. Uh, we haven't even done, how, how? Third. A third, <laughs> oh God. If I do one, I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, the fall had given me more confidence rather than less. I had a new respect for the trail ahead, but sometimes a little fall gives you a shot of adrenaline that feels good too. The ride was revealing itself in front of me. Not going to lie, but I was feeling pretty lucky to be having this experience with Stuart, Valter and Freck. I'm having a little bit of an arm pump situation right now, so I'm just having a little bit of a break. So we just went down through, pretty rooty, rocky bit. These guys were flying, but my, my arms are stopping working. <laughs> They're not used to the weight on the handlebars and the braking at the same time. So that bit was kind of tough. You could probably tell, but we'll trek on. The big one is nearly done. <laughs> this is getting less and less impressive as the day goes on. <laughs> We did a, 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 how much furthest do you have for a I big think one? About half or two thirds, probably now. Probably near a two thirds. You said, you said two thirds up no, there. No, I said one third up there. You did, and you said two thirds up there. I've got on <laughs> camera, look. <laughs> we haven't even done how, how, third. A third? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, you're right. You said one third. Yeah, okay. At the bottom of the Hackleberg and feeling victorious that I'd even completed the big one in the very least. However, it was time to say goodbye to Valter and Freck. They were planning on taking the next lift up. Myself and Stuart were now fixed on completing the big two. So it was a gentle road ride back to Salbach for some lunch and then another lift up to the top of the Panorama Trail. Okay, something of a pizza and a burger moment has happened. 
I feel quite full up now, do you? Yeah. Um, yeah, and now uh, we're heading on up to the top of the Panorama Trail to make this the big two and a quarter. <laughs> Not quite half. Still that chairlift tired you out? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> look at the view behind me. What's this place? This, look at that. That's special, isn't it? That is an amazing view. So we're at the top of Panorama. We're going to drop in. We're going to master and conquer the big two, the legendary big two, point seven, six or seven. Um, and we're going to get some runs in. At this point, we moved my GoPro over to Stuart's lid so we could get the riding action from his point of view. However, we got the angle wrong, which meant I would be constantly moving up and out of shot. So our action from the entire panorama trail was slightly compromised, but we did manage to capture some highlights. And look who we bumped into on the Panorama Trail. Blake and Rich. I'd finally found the boys. <laughs> Mr. Ashton, first time in the Alps? <sighs> on oh, the man. bowhead. Yeah, it's my first Alpy bowhead moment. Look at that. Rich, what's it like following? It's gnarly following him. He's a wild man. I'm all over the place. <laughs> Gives people a run for the money, eh? And this trail is so fun. You, you enjoy it. It's so good. So good. It's more bike parky this side. It's more mountain bike gnarly that side. Um, and I think there's some gnarlier stuff I've not even seen. So they're quite different. But this one I'm really enjoying. I'm getting some speed up. Um, but I can feel Stuart behind me. He's rallying away, trying to come past, but I'm not going to let him. No. You try. You try. <laughs> Getting a bit loose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm give me up. Oh, I just can't break. My arms were starting to give way and it was starting to show. And finally, I had a big moment that was a clear warning sign. And I wanted to finish this day on my terms, not in a ditch. Ooh. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Martin, yeah. you nutter! Well, he was on the line. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What are we doing now? It's more what you're doing, dude. Can you can you pull my trousers up? Yeah. So, like, if you grab my trouser hem there, and I'll lift myself up and you pull my trousers up. Got them? Do you know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> three, two, one. Three, three, two, one. Go! Come. Yep. I think so. They're more up than they oh, were. That's enough. Now that is teamwork. That is intimate with Martin Ashton. When someone's trousers are down and your man will pull them up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Mental. 
done? Oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Did we did it? We Woo. did the big two. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a thing. Wow, that was an amazing day riding. I tell you what, massive, massive props to Stu. Thanks, man. No problem. He's been a hero. He's been a trailblazer. He's picked me up when I was down. That's what mountain biking is all about. Yeah. Well, I think we've earned a beer now. Woo. After the chaos of the day had unfolded, it was time to relax, have a drink and enjoy the festival. I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.